22 athletes that ran in today's race have run in every Fox Cities Marathon since it began in 1991. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz has the story. This group of runners differ in age, hometown, and marathon experience, but they all have one thing in common. They have yet to miss a community first Fox Cities Marathon. 20 for 20. For many of the runners, the Fox Cities was the first marathon they ever ran. I just wanted to do one, and then it was fun, and I decided that I liked it, and I just kept going. My uh, goal for the first inaugural in 91 was just to finish and have a good time doing it, and after that, I got hooked. This was 63-year-old Ned Hughes' 65th marathon overall. After the first one, it's a fork in the road. You're either one and done, or you get hooked like, like me, and you keep doing it forever. The runners say a lot has changed since the first race. The biggest difference is the course layout. The runners also say it's more than just a marathon now, with race events going on throughout the weekend. It's more people know about it. And it becomes a ritual for families and, and neighborhoods to come out and support the crowd, so the runners. The attention to detail, that's the difference, and the, and the Community First Fox Cities Marathon gets five stars from me. Even after running 19 Fox Cities Marathons in the past, the veteran runners say the main goal is still just to finish the race. If I can decrease my time, that's great, but if I can finish, that's what I'm out to do. Now 20 for 20, the marathon veterans don't plan on sitting out any Fox Cities Marathons anytime soon. The very last one I will do will be the Community First Fox Cities Marathon. As long as my uh, knees and hips will hold out, I'll keep going, so we'll see. In Nina, Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. Now something new at this year's marathon, the first names of the, the participants were printed on the racers' bib numbers so spectators could cheer for anyone who ran by.